On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine lords a leaping. Well, that wasn't really a leap, and I'm certainly not a lord. But I am here to tell you about the ninth day of the 12 supreme days of Christmas. Day number nine. What do we have left? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have four days left. Better be getting in and entering to day nine because there are some awesome gifts. I'm going to talk about those gifts in just a second. I'm going to tell you how you can get in to enter. And we're going to talk about a couple of other things that are really important for this event. Hey, we even have a Lichianus in this giveaway. What giveaways have Lichianus in them? Stay tuned, folks. So you probably can't see behind me, but I have five different reptile tanks. We added these about, I don't know if you can see that, but we added them about four or five months ago. They've been doing really well. A lot of day geckos, things like that. A couple of morning gecko tanks in there. They've been doing great, but if you notice, Nanette has just decorated the heck out of those because this room was so bland But before the 12 Supreme Days of Christmas. So we started adding something every single day. As you know, if you've been in our live giveaways, well, it's become overrun with decorations, and I can't even get into the tanks. I can open the doors just a tiny bit and throw the food in, but I can't get in to clean. So in two weeks, they're going to have to go for another couple of weeks before I really get in there and scrape some glass and clean them really, really good. Wish me luck. Wish the animals luck. I know that they're suffering so poorly. They're not suffering. I'm feeding them. I'm still watering them. They're doing great, folks. Hey, have you been in our live giveaway sessions? They run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We get about three, 400 people in there, and I just looked at the live chat from last night. I cannot believe how many questions and then answers we get. We got non-pertinent to the giveaway itself. Things like keeping bugs and, and substrate and finding isopods, all kinds of questions, and everybody was so responsive with their answers. Thank you very much. And that's exactly what this whole giveaway is about. It's developing the community. It's, it's identifying the donors and giving them some recognition, but it's also about building this community. So everybody that asked a question in the giveaway, everybody that answered that question, thank you very much. Speaking of the giveaway, here's my public service announcement for the day. If I haven't contacted you after you won a gift and you contacted me, if I haven't put you in contact with the donor, or if I have and that donor hasn't contacted you back, within two or three days, let me know so we can get right on it. With about 200 gifts and all the donors that we have, it's easy to kind of get lost. I have a spreadsheet. I have everything tracked in there, but sometimes messages get lost. I know last night I probably had about 50 messages to dig through, but please, please, please get in contact with us so that we can get your gift right to you. Message me, let me know the situation, and I'll get right on it. Thanks. So let's go ahead and talk about the gifts being given away on day number nine. Folks, this is incredible. Right now, there's 10 gifts valued at $27.94, but there's some very, very key gifts. I want to mention once again, before you put in your name to win a gift, make sure absolutely that you that's a gift that you want and that you can take in. If it's something like isopods and you don't have any experience with maybe high-level isopods or high-level animals, if you've never had a snake before and the gift is for snakes, if you're not ready to receive that gift and take care of the animals the best that you possibly can, let me know before the giveaway, before you decide to put your name in for that drawing so that we can talk about that or contact the donor and ask them just general uh, questions about the care of those animals. We really want these animals going to great homes and being taken care of very well. Day number nine of the 12 Supreme Days of Christmas, and you can find all of these days if you go over to the 12 Supreme Days of Christmas website, the link is in the description, and take a look under 2022 gifts. You'll see all the different days. Let's take a look at the first one. This is a Lichianus, folks. 
Take a look at this lychee. It's from Living Wild LLC, and it's valued at $1,500. Gift number two is from Milky Way Reptiles, and it's a pink tongue skink born 4-14-2022 from Alora and Jarly Litter. I'm sure I'm saying those names wrong. Current weight is 32 grams, and it's $350 value. If you're looking at keeping skinks and have the knowledge to do so, this is a perfect gift for you. Gift number three from Scaly Editions. It's a super pastel female ball python around 130 or 180 grams. And the book, Can I Call 911 Now? Total value, $310. Gift number four from some folks that we've known for a long, long time, Andrew and Sarah Gilpin. Living Art Creations, a $200 gift certificate. Some of the best crusted geckos and best chewies around. Gift number five from Braden Moore, Critters and More. It's a thumbnail date. It's a thumbnail dart frog starter kit. This is really cool. Value is $223. Gift number six is from Denise Flagg again, D&D Geckos. Another $100 gift certificate. Gift number seven is from Hardtop Feed. It's a $100 gift certificate. Great hornworms. I've seen their display at, at reptile shows. Gift number eight from Flawless Crusted Geckos. It's a hoodie valued at $60. Gift number nine is from Dave Visser. Dave Visser's Photography. It's an 11 by 17 framed and matted photo. Winner's choice value at $35. And gift number 10 is from Little Potato Dragons. It's a sticker pack valued at $14. What do you think, folks? Aren't those gifts amazing? And a lychee on us in a giveaway like this, it just, it blows my mind. Speaking of Living Arts LLC, let's take a look at this video right now. Hey guys. How's everyone doing? I'm Georgina. I'm Paul. And we are Living Wild LLC. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you to Wally over at Supreme Geckos for allowing us to join in on the 12 Supreme Days of Christmas. So, about three years ago, we got into geckos, got our first lychee, and then got a couple crusties, a couple more lychees, fell in love, decided to make it a passion and start breeding them. And so now, my main focus is on the lycheonis, gargoyles, and the chihuahuas. With the lychees, <clears throat> I'm looking to go mainly a lot of pure locales, but then I also want to produce a lot of high pattern and high color animals and eventually cross those together and mix those up. But with the chihuahuas, I like the pure pine islands and the pure mainlands. And gargoyles, they're all cool. I mean, who doesn't love them? So I do more of the crusty side of the business, and I work with a lot of different animals. I have uh, a bunch of charcoals. I work with a bunch of empty backs. I do a lot of Dalmatians. I also work with three different lily white lines. So I have my orange phantom line, my tricolors, as well as my general tricolor group. I have a bunch of different reds, from portholes to just phantom reds, as well as my red uh, lily white group going on. I also have mixed in soft scale into that, so I'm playing around with that. And I also started off with 200% head exanthix and have uh, produced quite a few exanthix this year, so that's exciting. Next big focus for 2023 will be my red uh, porthole project, so make sure to check that out soon. So this year, since we're so honored to be part of this, we decided to do three giveaways. The first one is going to be a baby lychee, the second one is going to be a baby lily white and the third one is going to be 200 isopods 100 powder blues and 100 oranges but the isopods will go together as one so these are the parents to the babies that we'll be giving away this is called we decided to name it the Walter white line the guy that showed us to them said oh they have really nice m's on the back but when we saw it, it was upside down so that we saw w's and so Georgina was like, oh, that's Walter White. And then the female actually has the same W pattern. So we figured maybe hopefully try to get that to come out really clean. And so far we've been pretty successful with it. 
Now we do also want to mention, you can see some scarring there on both of them. That is from breeding. Leachianus geckos do get a little aggressive when breeding, but that is perfectly normal. They have a tendency to heal up real quick, and within a couple days to a week they will be just fine. So these are two of our holdbacks from last season from the parents we just showed you. As you can see, they have the nice W's going down the back, which we were hoping to get. This one has a little less color, but this one you can see has really nice pinks in it, and I love the pepper flaking going down in the bars. So these are from last season. And this, this is the baby leech you were donating from that pair. It was born August 26. 6th or 28th. It's sitting at 18 grams. Pretty sure it's a female. It was tempted for female. We just checked. Didn't see any pores. But you can see the pinks coming in the W's already. So this is going to be a beautiful gecko when it gets older. Should be a decent sized one. And somebody's going to be very happy with this one. All right, so we got my tricolor lily white Zeus right here. He comes from Austral Geckos. He is my cornerstone male for my tricolor projects. Um, he, as you can see, has beautiful coverage, nice oranges, the black and white contrast is absolutely gorgeous on him. And then we got our female here. She's absolutely unfired right now, guys, so sorry about that. She comes from Gecko Junkie. She's not so much a tricolor as much as more of just a really nice contrast of black and white, more of a harlequin there. Uh, but she's got some really nice white wall going on. And when she fires up, she's almost as black as you see, see Zeus here. But he's not even fired up all the way either. But together they made some beautiful babies. And uh, the lucky winner here is going to get one of their beautiful offspring, which is going to be a tricolor lily white, which I'll show you here in just a second. So this is the tricolor lily white that some lucky winner is going to be taking home today. This comes out of Zeus and Demeter, and already has some of that drippy coming down its dorsal, and already the patterning coming up as well. You see some of the orange popping out, as well as some more white coming out. So some lucky winner is going to be really happy with this little one. Thanks again for everybody who tuned in, and thank you at Wally at Supreme Geckos for letting us join this amazing giveaway. And make sure you go follow, like everybody's pages is donated. You guys are going to be blown away with some of these donations. Seriously. Absolutely ama <laughs> amazing. And make sure to like and follow and support us at Living Wild LSC as well. And... By the way, Wally, I'm sorry, you, you know us. I, I had to throw in a little blues for you since I don't really like your taste. Anyways, no, but... <laughs> all fun and games. <laughs> uh, very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you all. And good luck to everybody who's entering in this giveaway. And congratulations to all the winners. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Merry Christmas. And thank you very much for that video, guys. That was great. Absolutely wonderful. And that's what this giveaway is about, promoting the donors. So let's talk about how to enter for day number nine. It's going to be super easy, folks, easy compared to the other days. We have 10 different gifts. Each gift will have a word associated to it. And all that you need to do is pick one or all 10 of the words and put them in one comment on this video. Don't put them on a, re a reply to somebody else's comment. Put them in one comment. Don't put anything else in there. You really don't have to arrange them in any different order. We're going to pick a gift and we're going to pick a winner. It's going to be as easy as that until we're done with picking all 10 of those gifts. Don't forget to come back Friday, December 16th, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We're going to do, do the drawings for these 10 gifts. It'll be a bunch of fun, great people. We'll see you Friday. Thanks for watching.